like that. What? Uh, nothing, nobody. L listen, you guys have fun. Uh, maybe I'll run into you later. Hey. Really? Okay. Mindy, if you just stop thinking about Nick for a little while, you'd have a great time, really. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Dylan. I know I'm being lousy company. He's gonna be okay, and he's gonna be here in time for your wedding. I know. I know. So stop yeah. thinking about the DNA results. Will you shh? I don't want anyone to hear you say that. <laughs> Relax. Nobody heard me. All right. Now you just tell me what's going on. Come in. Oh, any word on Nick? He and Eve were successful. They freed Wyland. I knew he could do it. He's all right, isn't he? No problem during the escape. Not a scratch on him. He'll be back in plenty of time to pose for his wedding pictures. Stop talking like that. Like what? You're going to delay them, aren't ah, you? That's entirely up to you. Me? Time has come to finalize our deal. Your son for mine. <laughs> I'm not the man that Eve loves, Paul. You are. Eve doesn't love me. She never has. <laughs> this is crazy. She married you. Yes. But not because she loved me. You're the one she loves, Nick. portion of Guiding Light is presented by Tide. If it's got to be clean, it's got to be Tide. Come here a minute. <clears throat> what are you saying, Paul? It's simple. Eve loves you. What I don't understand is why she didn't tell you before. No, she didn't. She didn't say anything like that, so why don't you tell me? The secret's been kept too long. What secret? When Eve was arrested not long after you left, I was still a free man. Since I was born here, I had certain rights as a citizen that she didn't have as a foreigner. So? So I married her. <laughs> well, just like that? To get her released from jail. Eve was quite grateful. I know she respected me. I think she even admired me. But she didn't love me. Not as a wife should love her husband, anyway. Why didn't she tell me this? I don't know. Maybe with all the excitement, she just never got the chance. She could have told me this, Paul. She's probably been distracted trying to get me released. Maybe she thought the time was not right. But I'm sure she'll tell you now. Eve is a wonderful woman, Nick. I told you, you're a lucky son of a gun. She's yours, Nick. No, she's not. Well, don't worry about the marital uh, aspect. We, we did a divorce. Tear up the paper, pretend it never happened. I'm sure she'll want to do it as soon as possible. Once we're out of here safely... Well, just shut up for one second, all right? It's not going to happen, trust me. Don't you hear me? I'm telling you. 
I'm not going to stand in your way. Godspeed, all of that. I'm not marrying Eve, Paul. I'm in love with someone else. Her name is Melinda. Daddy, I'm fine. I'm just missing Nick, that's all. Well, I saw you, darling. It didn't look like that. You talking to Dylan there? You looked like you were downright sick. Now tell me what's going on. Daddy, come on. I mean, in the same week I'm getting married, my, my fiancé is halfway around the world. Where is Bridget? She has been avoiding us all night. I don't know. You know, people are acting really strange. First, Harley runs out of here like she's on her way to a fire. And Bridget, she's been weird for days. Listen to me, don't worry about Bridget. She can take care of herself. She probably just met somebody. What do you say we go to the stables? The horse, the horse is just about to fold. Well, I don't know. I want to get to the bottom of the floor, Bridget. Don't you want to see this fall? Yeah. Maybe spend a little time with me? Yeah. Okay, okay. let's go. I think Mindy's got a point. She's entitled to a few pre-wedding jitters. She'll be fine. Of course I will, Daddy. I mean, with everything that's going on, it's a wonder I haven't had a nervous breakdown. I, I think I just need to go home and get some rest. Mindy, I want you to tell me right now what is going on. Daddy, I have told you. I don't know why you won't believe me. Because I know you. And I know you're hiding something. I'm not hiding anything, Daddy. Look, you have enough to worry about with your own life. Just don't worry about me, okay? I'll be fine. Right? Okay. I'll see you later. Well, I'm gonna get going too. Oh, I gotta oh, oh. date him. Tell me what's going on with your sister right now. Nothing. You heard her. Look, I'm not playing hard with her, but I am playing hard with you. Dad, oh, Dad, on. wait a minute. Yeah, hey, I've been out of it a little bit, but not so much that I haven't been able to tell what kind of tension is down there at the lighthouse, and you can cut it with a knife. Hey, she's getting married in a few days. Every woman who's getting married is a bundle of nerves, aren't no, they? No, not Mindy. Now, something's bothering her deep down, and I got a sneaky suspicion that it involves Roger Thorpe. Now, why does everything always come back to Roger Thorpe with you? Because it does, that's why. And I'll tell you something else. I think you know what's wrong with you. Why don't you tell me what's going on with Mindy? I've been waiting for you to pull something like this. From the onset of our arrangement, I've watched you get greedier and greedier. But this time, you've gone too far. Have I? Just stick to our original agreement. You get the money, I get Nick free from Mindy. Ever since you read me out at the club, I've had to sit by waiting for the right moment. Alex, this is it. What are you up to? I've had to endure this endless waiting game because you had the evidence that could cost me my son. Yes, my ultimate weapon. Proof positive that you stole the Jessup farm from Hart. Nothing's changed, Roger. If you don't stick to our original agreement, I'll be forced to use it against you. So, if you will excuse me, I want you to get out. I'm not going anywhere. Don't push me. I'm not leaving without that file. Then you're going to have a hell of a wait. Hey. I have all the time in the world. You're the one with a deadline. <laughs> all I have to do is pick up the phone, call Hart, tell him what his daddy dearest did to his very nice grandfather. He'll hate you for the rest of his life. Nick isn't out of Cambrai yet. One word from me, he may never leave. Don't you threaten my son. You have two children and an empire at risk. Believe me, I won't hesitate to destroy all of them if you do anything to hurt my boy. Once Nick is back in the States, you won't need me anymore. I won't violate the terms of our oh, agreement. Come on, I'm to take your word for that? Give me a little credit. You're not going to get anything. Not the land around the farm or the file until I'm sure Nick is not walking down the aisle with Mindy. Well... <laughs> Looks like we've come to a stalemate here. It's a pity for both of us to have gotten this far and come up empty. I don't like it when people try to change horses on me midstream. That's tough. I've waited a long time for this. Now you give me the damn file. Oh, all right. Tell you what. I'm going to throw in something that wasn't even part of our original deal. A little piece of information that you will greet most enthusiastically. Oh, yeah? What's that? Nick's DNA test results were altered. 
What? Uh-huh. Somebody slipped into the lab and changed the results from positive to negative before anybody else could see them. Those results proved that Nick is your biological son. Was it you? No. It was Mindy. I know, I searched the place from top to bottom. I don't think she was ever here. She's not. She's in Springfield. I was given a message to meet her here. You know what? I bet it's Hart. No, 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 it's Storms, not Hart. Storms, cables, I warned her about it. Now, listen to me for a second. Hart took Julie to the fair. I just saw them. She's fine. Then why did she leave me a message to meet her here? She didn't. When I asked her about it, she looked at me like I was crazy. What the hell is going on? Who would do this? Well, I asked myself that very same question, and I came up with one name. Jenna. Mandy. It's always Mandy. Well, she was fighting for the man she loved. She knew she could lose him if he found out. You've known about this all along, haven't you? Why didn't you tell me? Uh, I only found out recently. And it was just suspicion. I had no proof. Nick will never agree to another DNA test. What am I going to do? Well, for starters, you could give me my file. Absolutely not. I need cold, hard proof that Nick will accept without question. But, Alex, that's the point of this discussion. I have it. Where? Right here. a number in Cambrai, please. Yes, I know that it's hard to get through, but please try. It's an emergency. Thank you. Uh, all right. I don't know the country code. The city code is 16, then 555-0342. Thank you. Come on, Anne. Hello? Hello. Uh, uh, Parlez-vous l'anglais? Oui, little. Uh, what do you want? I'm calling from the United States. Yes. I'm looking for Nick McHenry. Do you know him? No, I, I've never heard of him. Look, I know the situation in your country is very tenuous, but this is an emergency. I, I'm his fiancé, and I have to get in touch with him as soon as possible. I told you. I do not know your friend. Well, if you do hear of him, or if you can get a message to him, please tell him that Melinda called and that I love him. Mademoiselle. Uh, I'm sorry. I cannot help you. Now I must go. Au revoir. Not very well, thank you. Who are you calling? Airport. I'm going to have the Lewis jet fueled up. At this hour? Why? 
I'm going to Cambrai. But to bring Nick back, I figure if you won't tell me what's going on, I'll get him to. I know time can change things, especially when you've been separated for as long as you and Eve have been. But you didn't know what happened to her, where she was. You didn't even know she was alive. Oh, come on, Paul. It was five years ago. Yeah, okay, in the beginning, of course, I thought about it all the time, but... You see? Well, now that you've found one another again, surely the feelings are still there. All right, look. I know that this is hard, all right? Try to understand, okay? I thought that Eve was out of my life for good. She wrote me that she didn't want to see me again, all right? I mean, it was horrible at first. It, it nearly shut me down completely. I mean, the only way for me to get through the hurt was to go back to New York and work. That's focus on my work. That was all I could do. And then I found Melinda. You know, and at first she just intrigued me. You know, she's... Beautiful, intelligent, creative. And then I realized that she started to make me laugh again. And I found myself wanting to be with her all the time. I fell in love with her, Paul. I saw the way you looked at Eve when I told you she still loved you. I don't believe you. You're lying to yourself. How did Jenna know I had a sister? I don't know. How did she know about this place? Mal, I don't know. I don't know. This is bad, Harley. Jenna left me a message at headquarters. That means she knows I'm a cop. I know. I figured that out on the way over here. And she must have the whole thing figured out already. So how? Now, what's the difference? Our cover's blown and Jenna got away. Damn it. Oh, we were so close, Mal. I... Oh, I can see Jenna now. She must be laughing away. She must think I'm a real chump. You know, I come way out here in a wild Forget about chase. that. You were concerned about your sister. I don't care what she thinks. Yeah, well, I still am. Maybe Jenna wanted me out of here so she could get to Julie, like a revenge for setting her no, up. No, 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 Julie's fine. She's at the fair, she's probably going to be there a while, and Jenna wouldn't try anything in public. All right, but there's got to be some reason why she wanted me out of Springfield tonight. Well, I thought about that, too. You think she'd try that heist a little early? I'd stake my badge on it. Phone's dead. I'm going to have to take care of this myself. What? I have to beat Jenna Bradshaw at her own game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. Mindy tried to call Nick again, huh? She's a model of tenacity. I told her he wasn't here, just like you told me. Ah, uh, well. Keep up the good work. And remember, Nick isn't to hear from anyone on the outside unless I give the okay. You've made your point. Nick's all right, that's all I care about. I'm so pleased for you. Now you say you have proof. Mary McHenry is not Nick's natural mother. I want to see it. First things first, Alex. The Jessup file. This, this proof you have is irrefutable? He's a Spalding, flesh and blood. 
your sonny boy. to exchange some old snapshot for documented evidence that you sold your own son down the river. This isn't just any snapshot, Alex. How stupid to believe you. Mindy found this months ago, and she knew then how damaging it would be if Nick ever saw it. Why? And I'm warning you, Roger, this is your last chance. Why? Because of this. Oh my. Yeah. Mary McHenry should have been eight months pregnant when this was taken. Clearly, she is not. Another piece of news. Eric Levonicek has written Mindy that he's coming for the wedding. It appears he's ready to tell everything that happened all those years ago. He'll tell Nick he sold my baby to Kip McHenry? So it seems. Nick will finally know the truth. Daddy, you can't go to Cambrai. No, darling, what I can't do is I can't stay here and watch you be miserable. Hey, it's a week before your wedding and you wound up tighter than a drum. I'm just nervous, that's all. Well, I know nervous and I know you and I'm telling you that what's bothering you is coming from way down deep. Now, why don't you just open up and let me help? <sighs> Daddy, I... I just wish that I could go and be with Nick tonight, and I can't do that. No, I can go. No, you can't. Why? Because someone told me that it would put him in a lot of danger. Mm hmm That someone wouldn't have been Roger Thorpe, would it? He knows about these things, Daddy. He's worked for the government. Yeah, well, what I know is that you're miserable, and I'll just get Nick to tell me why. No, you can't do that, Daddy. Maybe I tried to tell him. He just wouldn't listen. Hey, look, you know, I'm not doing this for no reason. I love you kids, and I want to help, and I know better than anybody that you keep secrets. And it's going to mess your lives up. You know that. And you, young lady, after that thing with Thorpe, didn't you learn anything? This is different. How? I mean, you might as well tell him. Look, everybody's going to find out once you tell Nick anyway. The truth is, I did something really horrible, and I'm afraid that Nick's not going to be able to forgive me for it. I love Melinda, Paul. Look, don't get me wrong, all right? I'm not saying that what I had with Eve wasn't special, because it was, but it was a long time ago. I don't believe you. Fine. I don't care. I know what I have with Melinda is strong, it's true. Maybe it sounds corny, but you know, we can count on one another. We wouldn't let each other down. But you and Eve did. We didn't trust our love enough back then, did we? I think that says something. What does it say? That she was scared? That she was afraid to trust any future with you? It was water, Nick. People were dying left and right. How could you expect her to trust anything? All right, maybe you're right, okay? Oh, come on, Paul, I think you're blowing this whole thing out of proportion. Eve may have loved me at one time, but she doesn't anymore. That was a long time ago. She would have told me. At the very least, I would have been able to see it. Oh, you could be pretty dense for a hotshot reporter. You always got the credit for being the romantic. How the hell is she going to come to you and tell you she loves you? Has she met your Melinda? Yeah, but... 
I must have broken her heart all over again. Paul, you love her, don't you? With all my heart. <laughs> but those are the breaks. Isn't that what you Americans say? I'm sorry, man, I really am. Maybe in my next life, eh? Well, meanwhile, we have to get you two out of here. Oh, look, knock it off. I don't want to hear anything like that again. Come with us. Look, you've made your choice. I've made mine, Nick. I have to stay here where I belong. What do I have to do to get through to you? You're a marked man. So come with us, all right? You'll be able to work for change from the outside. You can't be planning on staying here. That would be like signing your own death. You can't do it. You have to come with us. That's what I've been trying to tell him. No, I'm not going to leave my country, my people. Look, Eve, your future is in America. That's why you must go back with Nick. time to tell you this but sometimes things don't work out the way we plan no you have to reconsider paul what good will it do your people if you die a martyr he is right paul look come with us i promise you i will keep your name your cause and the headlines at all times the, the press can be a hell of a lot more powerful than bullets trust me no my, my decision's final i won't desert my country well, i won't desert my husband if you stay so will i and you, uh, you change next text results, huh? I didn't know what else to do. Raj put you up to it? No. He gave me the idea, but I did it myself. You see, before the results came in, Alexandra told me that Nick was her son and that blood would win out. That he would finally accept the truth and come into the family and I would be left with nothing. And she said that I wasn't good enough to be his wife because he would want children. And I can get pregnant, but I can't stay pregnant. Oh, baby, come here. I uh, see now, I see. Oh, baby. You felt trapped like a rat. Oh, Daddy. I don't want to lose him. I love him so much. Yeah, I know. That doesn't excuse what you did, not nothing. <sighs> I think the boy has a right to understand, doesn't he? Yes, I know that, Daddy. And Dylan convinced me that I have to tell him. And, and I'm planning to tell him the truth as soon as he gets back. But it's just this waiting that's driving me crazy. Well, now, he loves you. He'll see that you're trying to right or wrong. He'll forgive you. But Alexandra really is his mother. What if blood does win out? Well, you know, I want to find out about Miss Sally being my mom. I didn't start hating Miss Martha's memory. No, I was mad as hell, but I got over it. You know, Mindy... That's two of us who have had a very similar experience. I think it's a pretty good indication how Nick's going to react. Darling, Nick doesn't have to choose. He can love both of you. I hope you're right. As long as I'm the one to tell him what I did. Of course you're going to tell him. Who else could? I mean, besides me and Dylan, nobody else knows. Isn't that right? forgive you for taking my son from me my little baby you could have adopted been foster parents but no you let your husband buy my son like some unwanted pet i hate you mary mchenry you cheated me and now his fiance is trying to do the same be glad you're dead and gone because i guarantee mindy will wish she were by the time I get through with her. What are you doing? <sighs> Preparing for a belated Mother's Day. I want to be the first person Nick sees when he returns from Cambrai. I want to be there to tell him I'm his mother and that I love him. What about Melinda? Yeah, what do you think he'll do? When he finds out the woman he loved, the woman he trusted, betrayed him out of pure selfishness? Out of love, Alex. That does not give her the right to keep him from his mother. 
If she's ever able to carry a child to term, I hope she knows this kind of pain one day. Alex. Now, don't try to stop me. Remember, I have her trust. She can't know I'm involved in this if I'm to have any influence on her before the wedding. What wedding? Just don't overplay your hand. She thinks you stole that picture. If you're smart, you'll let her go on thinking it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Bowling, the horse is just about to fall. Would you, oh, you'd like to come down yeah, and see it? Yes, come see it. It's so exciting. Oh, yes, I know. I'd love to come, but later. I'll have to come later. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, just some business with Alex. Come on, let's take a look at that foal. Yeah, great. This is so exciting. stay with me. You have to go back to America with Nick. No, my place is with you. I have to stay. Oh, you be reasonable. This is my country, my people. Yours is America. There's no point in arguing. I've made up my mind. <sighs> Would you give us a few minutes alone? Sure. I'll uh, go check and see what's happening in the outside world. Oh, just listen no, to no, me no, for there's, one... There's no time to argue. I have to stay. I know that you're an honorable man. I admire you and I respect you so much. I want to be with you. I want to stay and help you. Oh, you've done so much to help me already. Is it me you're trying to help? Or Nick you're trying to avoid? This has nothing to do with Nick. This is about us. Eve, there is no us. There never was. You know how much I care about you. Why can't we start all over? Why can't we no, try it'll to never do something? Work. Why not? Because Nick... Nick has, has made you a symbol for the opposition. Your face is, is too familiar. You, you would be absolutely no use to me. Paul, I'm a doctor. How can you say that? I, I would definitely be of use to you. Look, I can't do my work and worry about you, too. I need to know where you are, that you're safe. That's why you have to go back to Springfield with Nick. and He'll take good care of you there. Do you know what you're asking of me? Paul, oh, Nick has a life of his own back there. He doesn't need me to look after. Well, you told me about Melinda. That's right. He's getting married this week. She's lovely. And I'm sure that they'll be very happy together. You still love him, don't you? No, I don't. Then there's really no reason not to go back to Springfield, is there? Paul, oh, what about? Don't worry. I'll take care of it as soon as I know you're safe. You've been so good to me. I always knew I could count on you. I'm not the only one counting on you. That's why you have to go back to Springfield with Nick. No matter what your feelings. Nick's not going to find out from anybody but you, darling, so just stop worrying, okay? Why well, don't I have this horrible feeling that something's about to happen then? Mindy, I told you, that's just pre-wedding jitter. Yes, it is. Now, that's the way I see it. Nick's going to come here, get off that plane, he's going to come straight home to you. You're going to tell him the truth. He's going to see how much you love him, and he's going to forget you. Oh, Daddy, I want to believe that, but... Hey, how long has anybody ever stayed mad at my little princess anyway? Yeah, maybe when I was growing up, this is different. Well, um, I don't know that Nick will be able to forgive me for this. Hey, he loves you. He'll be able to forgive you. Yeah, if that's true, then why can't you forgive Nadine? I know she was wrong, but 
She did it because she loves you and she was afraid of losing you? What Nadine and I have and what you and Nick have ain't the same thing. Now, I wish the hell they were sometimes. But when you and Nick have it, it's special. And it's once in a lifetime. Believe me, darling, that love, it's going to see you through all this. I guarantee it. in time. Yeah, listen, you check the ground for Jen. I'm gonna go to the main door and wait the house. Right, right, right. Harley. I know, be careful. What are you doing here? Investigating a case. What are you doing here? Here now, Melinda. I'll find you. Maurice said that the situation is still pretty dicey out there. Government troops are patrolling the area and they're searching all cars heading towards the airport. So it doesn't look like anybody's going anywhere today. So, um, what did you two decide? Eve will be going back to Springfield with you. Imagine two men at war. The depth of their hatred for each other is frightening. Fighting for love. I have never felt so torn apart in my entire life. Some battles are lost. I left my wife. Some are won. She should know what this vicious bastard has been up to. But the war goes on weekdays on The Young and the Restless. has been Guiding Light. Hosiery by Donna Karen. <laughs>